So you're a homeowner, you live on a lake, you see somebody out in the thin ice, and they fall through. And this person is further out than you can throw a rope. What do you do? The good news is, if this person can keep their head above water and uh, their arms up on the ice, they probably have about 30 minutes to still get pulled out of that hole and be okay. So I developed this method to deliver a rope from the shoreline and a rescue device to somebody who falls through the ice. This seems especially handy if you live on a lake and you're concerned about what to do if somebody falls in. If they're too far out for you to be able to just throw a rope to them, I came up with this other solution. If you're a professional rescuer, I don't think that this is the right method, as there are drones that are made to lift things, and a Mavic is not really rated to lift stuff. This can be done with a simple Mavic Pro and a drop mechanism that's made for fishing. The rope is super light. 300 feet weighs one pound. And Mavic doesn't have to carry the entire length of the rope. It can drag it along. I found that Mavic can pretty easily drag 600 feet of rope. So what I do is I leave about 30 feet for the flotation device underneath Mavic. That way the drone doesn't have to be very close to the ice. And you can kind of look down and steer the device to drive it where you want it to go. And if it's windy, if it's windy, you can actually lower your altitude a little bit and drag the rescue device along the snow or the ice. And that helps to keep the wind from blowing it around. Now you don't want to go 40 miles an hour, but you can, you can spool the rope off from here at a pretty good clip. You can drag out to your intended target, kind of slow down, and you can use care to kind of put it right where you want it. And if you missed, because you haven't let go yet, you can always still drag it right or left or backwards or forward until you're able to hand it to somebody. And then you can push your C1 or C2 button, turns on your lights, and drops your, drops your rope. Here's kind of a view from 400 feet up. Show how far out in the lake this actually was. And then the idea, of course, is once you deliver a rope to somebody, is you can pull it back by hand and pull that person out of the hole or out of the danger zone. But if you're just practicing and you don't want to keep reeling up three or four or five or six hundred feet of rope, I found that you can actually just use the drill. Spool it up here pretty quickly. And just a side note, if you use Pro Platinum Quiet propellers, they actually lift more weight than standard Mavic Pro propellers.